Hello Cursarians, my name is Hadi Dayek and this is my first video tutorial in the course An Introduction to Interactive Programming in Python. We're in week 2 and this video tutorial will teach you how to create a program that acts like a stopwatch, but this stopwatch is only for seconds. So first of all, we should create a global variable named seconds and this variable refers to zero. When we create a timer using Code Sculptor, we should assign a, a handler, we should create a handler which is a function that works every amount of time that we provide to the timer. So this handler must increment this zero and print it. So first of all, we should define a function named increment this function contains a global variable seconds and seconds should be incremented by one after that seconds should be printed print sorry that was a python 3 error print seconds. So now nothing is happening and you expect that. If we run increment, or we call increment a couple of times and run, we should notice here one and two. Okay. Now we should create a timer. We'll go to the Code Sculptor documentations here. We go to graphics modules and we're gonna browse the timers tab. How to create a timer. Well, creating a timer should take the interval that is in milliseconds. We should run it in one second, so that's a thousand milliseconds. And the time handler that is in our program, the increment function. Okay. Import simple GUI. Then simple or timer equals to simple GUI dot create timer this timer should run every one second and it must run its event handler is increment Let us test our code by starting timer. Timer dot start. One, two, three. Okay, this is working. But now we should. I told you that we are going to create a frame. This frame should contain three buttons. Sorry for that. This frame should contain three buttons, one for starting, and the second for stopping, and the third is for resetting. So, this timer.start should, should be inside a function, which is a handler for the button start. So let's define a function named start. This function takes no arguments, but it starts the timer. Okay. After that, we are going to create a frame. F equals to simple GUI dot create frame. We're gonna name this frame seconds stopwatch. 
its width is 200 and its height is 200. Now we're going to add a button to that frame. Add button. This button is named start and its handler is also start. So when we press start, st this the function start to run and the function start starts the timer. When starting the timer, the program will give you one, two, three, and the stopwatch will run. Let's test start. Okay, and that works. But we forgot. Let's reset. We forgot to give it a width. Let me give it a width of 100 is enough. Again, we're gonna define a function that stops the timer or actually it pauses it. So define stop. This function also takes no arguments but it stops the timer. Timer dot stop. Stopping the timer is referred to as timer dot stop in code sculptor docs. Again we're gonna add a new button. This button add this button stops the timer. So we are going to name it stop. Its event handler is stop and its width is 100. Now we can see if we started it 1, 2, 3, 4, then we stop it and again we start it it continues 7, 8, 9, 10. So, we'd al so, so we should also create a button that resets the timer. Resetting the timer means that we assign 0 to seconds once again. So we are going to implement a function again. This function is named reset. It also takes no arguments but it make seconds refer to zero. It initializes seconds. We're going to set second as a global variable. Sorry. Finally, we should add a button that refers to this handler or that runs this handler reset. F dot add button this button is named reset and its handler is reset also its width is 100 okay I think our program now works so let's reset it and run it again start is working stop is working if we start it again, it will continue, it will resume, but if we reset it, seconds will initialize, then continue. So we can stop, reset, then start to have it 1, 2, 3. Okay, see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.